this is Michelle and Co coming at you. I'm Ella and I am here today in Ireland. Now we are about to take you a day through Cork, Ireland in fact. Right now we're in Cove, pronounced Cove even though it's a C-O-B-H. Cobb. Yeah, <laughs> we're going through, we're taking the train into town, then we're gonna, our number one task is to make it to the castle. So stick here. The Barney Castle. Watch us succeed. The, the Blarney Castle? Yeah, Barney. Barney Castle, either or. We're gonna adventure there. We're gonna stop and shop till we drop a couple things along the way, but we're here to entertain you. So make sure you like and subscribe and check the rest of the video. So we just got off our cruise ship. We came directly to the train station and this is awesome because when we were in Glasgow, we were trying to get there, it took forever to get to the train station. Everybody got lost. But this one's right next door. Now we came out, we went and bought our tickets. Not too expensive, I think they were- 13 euros. 13 euros each and um, it'll be a short ride in. And then the attendant that was helping us buy our tickets actually told us that once we get into town, we can catch a bus. It's only five euros Four or five each. euros. Yeah, yeah. Five, four or five. 20 minutes, every 20 minutes they come. And I think that the tours that they were trying to sell us were like $150 per person to get there. So I think we just won. Uh, she said, go out to the train station, make it to another brick building. Uh, second a red, left. A red brick building. Red brick. Well, aren't they all red brick? Yep. No worries. <laughs> uh, so it'll be a short feat. Uh, we're catching the train in another 20 minutes. So let's. So we've made it into Cork, and they say it kind of funny. It's like Cork, Cork. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. You almost but went backwards there. The guy said it uh, a little bit different on the, the train that we just got up. We took a 24 minute train into, um, from where our cruise ship was, into downtown Cork, Cork. We're just gonna say Cork. Uh, we're gonna get on these bus stations right here in the background, and we're gonna head up to uh, Blarney Castle. It's a very, very uh, big tourist site with a lot of reviews on it, so something that we definitely want to check out. Uh, Ella's been wanting to see a castle, so this will be the castle. But again, like all these videos, it's one day in this city. Um, so far, we did get a, a very basic, I got a white monster. We haven't <laughs> tried any local food yet, uh, but we will try to have some local food before we leave, and we'll do some shopping. I know that this castle has some wool, like scarves and whatnot, so we're gonna check that out as well. Let's go ahead and get on our second or third transportation today. <laughs> Our second transportation, the bus over here. First exchange of currency. Whenever we go to Mexico, we always forget to exchange our currency. And uh, then all we have is dollars or we don't have any small bills. This time we got really small bills up front, but they're all American. And the bus only takes euros. So friendly tip, ask the person in front of you that is from here to exchange the money before you run off to another merchant to ask because it's much more efficient and Mitch knows, he knows where it's at. But we wanted to give you the backstory. So right now we're on a double-decker bus. This is not originally where we thought we were going. We went from the cruise to walking all the way to a bus station, which was incorrect. Keep walking through the mall and then exit into another bus, which is just like a regular street one. And it goes to the castle. And then from there, it's another five minute walk. So not too terrible, but not what we expected when we initially ask for directions from two people and uh, yeah just ask the people around you I think that's a great piece of advice for fellow travelers all right we made it to Blarney Castle there's a bunch of traffic in the background we beat all the the slow buses here $169 to take one of those buses. We got here, and how much was it? Five euros. It's a pretty good deal. Five Woo! Bucks. You can see the Blarney sign behind us. It's beautiful. We really like the black and white over here, the entrance buildings. We're going to do that with our house, actually, so it looks really good. But we made it here. Uh, it was about a, I don't know, 15 minute bus ride on the double decker, and then it took another 24 minutes from the cruise ship to get here. So this is a, a big journey, but definitely recommend coming in. We'll hope so. We're gonna go check out the castle now. Let's go look at it. I think we have to take, where is it? A moat to get to the castle. <gasps> Just 
not too bad at all. These flower baskets are adorable though. That is a castle. That is so cool. I only wanted to do one thing on this trip and that was to find a European castle. Me and Mitch have never been to Europe. This is our first time. You're with us, coming at ya, and this is Blarney Castle. I couldn't think of a better castle name to make it in Ireland, but we're here, we made it. It's massive. I really want to see the inside. I don't know about you guys. I don't know if our ticket includes that, but our ticket ended up being $18 per person in euros, so it's about the same. Um, more on the expensive side, I would say, but we didn't pay for the tour to get out here, so I'm appreciative of it, but let's take a look inside. Okay, so Ella's holding our spot in line. I actually wanted to come over here. This is a stable yard. This is so cool. Look at this. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. So this is just behind the castle. I'm assuming this is built newer. But look at that. That is awesome. Let's check this out. So cute. They even have ice cream. So we just made it inside the gate into the castle. Now there were stops and signs that said like 90 minutes, 60 minutes throughout the gate. Like we, Disneyland. Like Disneyland. And we're like, oh, that must be wrong. I don't really believe it. Definitely. We've been here probably for an hour and a half. We got caught in a torrential downpour, <laughs> but we're from Seattle, so totally used to it. We've almost made it inside the castle. I mean, the front gate counts, so technically we're inside. If war was about to break out, we'd be in a good place, but lots of gift shops, there's lots of garden, um, botanical gardens built in around us, and little things that you can stop and see and buy, and we heard there's a really good breakfast spot, so as soon as we're done waiting here for the next 16 hours, and we make it all the way to the top on the, I think it's like 14 levels, 15 levels, then we will tour you through the rest. Rock climbing. Look at it. It's actually, um, they have harnesses. This kind of looks like inside uh, the pyramids. Remember those? Kinda, but a lot more moss. <laughs> So we have successfully made it to the third floor. I think we've been here for two, two and a half hours. Um, we saw a couple people giving up, kind of like in traffic where you turn yourself around and they exited. But this view is crazy. They said that you usually don't have private bedrooms and this is somebody's bedroom. And because they were high enough off the ground, they could have plenty of windows. Um, and there's the perfect, bad player. Let me see if I can get it. Zoom it in. Oh, there really is a bad player? Yeah. Oh, I do see there that. we go. There he is! Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Spiral staircase. You can't even see. But I see sunlight <laughs> through his eyes. <laughs> We're gonna make it! We made it out of the claustrophobia that is the interior of this castle to the very top floor. Now we're 15 floors up. You can see the view in the distance. It's very Ireland. It's very Ireland, very green. We saw some sheep. That's pretty much the premise of it. But we wanted to point out, this is the famous Blarney Stone, this crowd of people, we're about 10 people away, where you flip upside down and you're supposed to lean backwards and kiss the stone. There's a bunch of legends of why it's so famous that it was brought here and put in the top of the castle. You can read little uh, pinnacles, little things behind me along the way, but it just has a lot of history and we're thankful that we did it, but it was quite a long line that they don't really tell you about beforehand, um, but we're about to go next up in line. When you think of Ireland, that's what you think of. This is what fairy tales come from. Look at that. Unreal. This thing actually, believe it or not, has a moat around it. 
It's like a little island. It's amazing. This is what you think of when you come to a castle. If you grew up and you had those little Legos that were like the uh, knights and the swords and stuff like that and the little horses, this is this is exactly it in real life. I mean, look at behind me. It has all of the uh, little pillars. I don't even know what you call these at the top of a castle, but it looks exactly, I mean, it's a real castle. It's what you want. It's pretty cool. We enjoyed it. She went over to the Blarney Stone, Barney Stone. And did you kiss it or did you not kiss it? She kissed it. I came like this close, but the real thing is that you're introverted upside down, and so you actually look like you're looking at the ground from upside down. It is trippy, but it's good. Definitely worth it. Some people came all the way up and didn't do it, and it's like, why did you wait so long? I'm that person. <laughs> Maybe for this view, but it was it was worth it. So let's go ahead and head back down. We've been a lot of this, uh, this whole town we're gonna do one day in Cork. We've spent a lot of time coming to this Blarney Stone and this castle. Yes. So let's head back to town now. So we can just show you guys actually a little bit more of Cork and this part of Ireland. Let's go ahead and head out. So we just walked about five minutes away from the castle. It's in the distance, um, but went back to the main road kind of where our bus dropped us off and we were gonna go catch a bus but we made a detour because there is this enormous mall it's supposed to be the largest collection of Irish only shops in the world so I took a sneak peek I went through each room has no its own theme it is just a massive mall but there are also a bunch of restaurants built into it a cafe and a lot of wool clothing. I think it's called woolen, woolen mall, but a lot of things that w came out of directly Ireland, but like I said, a lot of wool clothing. And if you are uh, taking any tours and they're driving you through the countryside, all we heard consistently from people is there's so many sheep. So obviously, I feel like wool is a well-known export from here. But they have all kinds of goodies, knickknacks, little things, big things. Um, but I would say a majority of them are beautifully woven. See the detail? So, great souvenirs. Um, Mitch was talking about getting one of these for our moms, but we'll see. We have another stop before we leave here in Dublin because we're in Cork, Ireland right now. And I think we'll stock up on our souvenirs from there. But this is definitely a stop I recommend if you're in the shopping mood, you wanna wander through or catch a bite to eat. It looks like there's a lot of cute restaurants built into this. And again, this isn't that far from Blarney Castle, but we gotta jump back outside to the main road, catch our bus and get back into town. Okay, so we've made it back. Of course, I'm getting American stuff, but check out all these uh, a protein bar. candies or lollies. Look at all these from Europe. A star bar, a boost. Have you guys seen any of these? A wispa? <laughs> a wispa? wispa gold. Kinder. I've seen Kinder. That's Which great. Which one's the best? Uh, those ones. Alright, I'm sold. Caramel. One and two and three and four. Put your drinks down. A day in Cork. Back on the train again. Trains, planes, double decker buses, everything, right? We made it back. This is the view from our room. Gorgeous. We are in Cope. Uh, we took the train back from Cork, which we took the bus back from Blarney. And originally we were gonna start out this video saying a day in Cork because that was the main attraction that we were going to. But, but it ended up being a day in what? In Blarney yeah. or like the, the Blarney Rock Castle. Anything like that, that'll probably be our title, <laughs> to be honest, because it ate up so much of our day. We just did the timing, backtracked, and the line ended up taking us two and a half hours, and that's not including the 30 minutes that we took to take photos outside of the castle before we knew there was a line. So it just really ate our whole day, and then we had to rush back by bus and then walk 15 minutes to get back to the train to then walk to get back to the ship. So, What do you think of the of, of Blarney and, and Cork and Cove? Should someone come visit this place? You know, Cove is really famous because it was the last place the Titanic stopped, which I think like 138 people I want to say boarded and they all ended up dying. 
And so that's what they're known for. We don't know if all of them died. There was some survivors. It's, on I feel the like all of them died on the informational Rose, sign Rose lived. that we. Okay, Rose lived, but <laughs> anyways, um, that's what that's famous for. That's where the port is. And then when you go into Cork, it's more of a city feel, taller buildings, uh, people walking around business-like, I would say. Um, and then you go into Blarney, which, which we loved. It was so cute. It's what you think of Ireland. Yeah, the the ivy's going up the brick walls Blarney's and worth it. well manicured, and it was just so such a cute town to visit. So we highly recommend. If you're not doing a cruise ship or anything, and you're maybe doing uh, Airbnbs or backpacking and doing hostels, you should go to Blarney and spend some yes. spend, a, spend a couple nights there. It is what you think of Ireland. It's yeah. beautiful. So we'll give that our definitely a five stars there. The Cove and the uh, Cork, yeah, not as much weren't very pretty. Um, we, not, we didn't spend that much time in yeah. either of them, to Both be of honest, them seemed but industrial and didn't look as pretty though. Just visual, vi visually, the, uh, the Blarney is what you think and what you want for photos yeah. of Ireland. And we definitely recommend there. Yeah. And that was a real, real castle. Yes, that was my first, all I wanted to do today. And I told him if we got one thing done, and that's all, it would be to go to a castle in Europe. And we did it. And I even flipped upside down and almost kissed the stone. I was like this far away, so it still counts. So we got one more stop on this. We're gonna be doing Portland in England, and then uh, that's one more stop on the cruise ship, and then we're gonna be heading to Dublin, Ireland, and we'll maybe do one or two videos there uh, in, yes. in Dublin, Ireland. Yeah, we'll be taking you with us. So make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. We truly appreciate it. Let us know next time you end up in Ireland, yeah. and uh, we'd love to share stories with you. Comment down below what you guys thought. Definitely. We'll see, see you next time. See you next time.